On December 8, 2025, Turkey's Anka 3 stealth unmanned combat aircraft reached a significant milestone in its ongoing flight test campaign, according to Turkish Aerospace, TUSASH. During its 46th System Verification and Identification sortie, the Flying Wing platform successfully completed a series of critical autopilot trials, validating its autonomous flight envelope. This is more than a routine software test. It is a key step in certifying Anka 3 as a long-range, high-autonomy strike asset, capable of operating with minimal human intervention, even in complex formations. For Turkey's defense planners and potential export customers, this achievement highlights how rapidly a new generation of stealth UCAVs is moving from concept to credible operational capability. It also confirms that the program remains on schedule to transition from development to early inventory integration before the end of the decade, following Tusash's long-term production roadmap. Anka 3 is a 7-ton class turbofan-powered stealth UCAV designed around a flying wing configuration, inherently reducing radar signature. According to Tusash, the aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of 6,500 kilograms, carries up to 1,600 kilograms of payload, and is designed to operate at altitudes up to 40,000 feet for around 10 hours, with a maximum speed of 425 knots at 30,000 feet. It features two internal weapon bays and five external hardpoints, allowing a combination of low observable internal carriage and conventional external loads. Its avionics and ground systems are largely common with the Anka and AKS families, simplifying training and integration. The platform is built for far more than precision strike. Anka 3 is configured for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance with EOIR sensors and SAR GMTI radar. It also supports electronic operations, including comment, ELINT, ESM, electronic attack, communications jamming, satellite communications, relay functions, and the deployment of long-range air-launched unmanned systems such as the Super Shimshek target and decoy drone. Tusash envisions the UCAV operating in manned-unmanned teaming scenarios and AI-assisted swarm operations, working alongside Khan fighters and other Turkish UAVs in coordinated strike and suppression of enemy air defense missions. The pace of development for Anka 3 has been remarkably fast. Ground runs and taxi tests in 2023 led to a fully autonomous maiden flight on December 28, 2023, lasting over an hour and concluding with an automatic landing after full system checks. In 2024, the test envelope expanded rapidly. A formation flight with the Urjet Advanced Trainer on May 5 demonstrated cooperative operations with crewed aircraft. In August, critical tests confirmed in-flight landing gear retraction on the flying wing airframe. By September, the program pivoted to weaponization, completing its first flight carrying a Teber 82 precision-guided bomb externally, followed by a live strike demonstration in collaboration with Aselsan and Orokasan. Subsequent sorties included the Tolan small diameter bomb, culminating in January 2025 with the first release of a guided glide bomb from the internal bay at 20,000 feet and 180 knots, showcasing the aircraft's low observable strike capability. Formation flights between prototypes and integration with Super Shimshek UAVs built experience in cooperative engagements. The 46th sortie, with its successful autopilot trials, closes a major chapter in basic flight control validation and opens the door to more demanding autonomous mission profiles. Anka 3's strengths lie in the combination of stealth, payload, autonomy, and teaming rather than in any single performance metric. Its flying wing design with internal bays provides signature management that earlier Turkish mail platforms could not achieve, while matching them in endurance and payload. High autonomy flight control not only reduces operator workload, but is essential for manned-unmanned teaming, where a Khan or other crewed aircraft could act as a mission commander for multiple UCAVs, and for swarm operations supported by AI decision aids.
compared to Western stealth UCAV efforts such as BAE Systems Tyrannus or Dassault's Neuron, which remained primarily demonstrators, Anka-3 is engineered from the outset as an operational system integrated into a broader force structure and industrial plan. Its current single-engine configuration, powered by an AI-322 turbofan, delivers high subsonic performance. Plans for future twin-engine variants using TEI's TF-6000 or TF-10000 engines suggest potential growth towards supersonic escort and deep strike roles. Strategically, Anka-3 represents Turkey's move from a UAV-enabled air force to one capable of fully integrated unmanned combat formations alongside fifth-generation fighters. Its low observable profile and internal strike capacity make it suitable for deep attack, suppression of enemy air defenses, and electronic warfare in contested environments, where conventional drones would be more vulnerable. Operating from high altitude with long endurance, it provides persistent coverage over key theaters such as the Eastern Mediterranean, the Aegean, the Black Sea approaches, and border regions where Turkey has routinely used UAVs for surveillance and precision engagement. For NATO, Anka-3 adds autonomous strike and ISR capacity capable of integrating into alliance operations, complementing crewed aircraft, while demonstrating Turkey's ability to field indigenous high-end systems. It also strengthens Ankara's position in the global UCAV market, offering a stealthy platform with internal bays, networked warfare capabilities, and a clear path to mass production, appealing to countries seeking alternatives to traditional Western suppliers. For regional competitors, the message is clear. Turkey A is moving decisively into operational stealth UCAVs and loyal wingman concepts. Programmatically, Anka-3 is part of a wider investment cycle led by the Presidency of Defense Industries and implemented by TUSASH, which manages a large portfolio of air power and unmanned systems. Turkey's Air Force is expected to be the lead operator, with serial production following once formal decisions are made. The success of earlier Anka variants internationally reinforces the industrial ecosystem into which Anka 3 is being integrated, making it a cornerstone of Turkey's unmanned aviation ambitions. From the outside, the 46th sortie might appear as just another test flight, but its successful autopilot trials carry significant weight. They confirm that Anka 3's flight control and autonomy systems are maturing according to plan, linking stealth endurance, strike capability, and manned-unmanned teaming into a cohesive operational system. As testing shifts from basic safety to complex multi-ship and networked missions, Anka-3 is positioning itself not just as another drone, but as a central node in Turkey's future air combat ecosystem. The 46th flight represents the moment when that ambition began to look operationally credible. Here on Mighty Military, we will continue to follow every development of Anka-3, tracking its journey from prototype to fully operational stealth UCAV as it shapes the future of Turkey's air combat capabilities and unmanned warfare worldwide.